Okay, and here we go. Let me just turn the game audio on. Excellent. Adjust it for myself. So I believe I fixed all the technical difficulties we were having, so we can finally play the video game. Now then, let me actually explain, since it seems to be recording this time. This Crystal Kaizo. Game is modified to be super hard. It changes the layout of lots of areas, routes, dungeons, with plenty of different Pokemon variety everywhere. And we're gonna give this a go from the top now. Cause I don't wanna set like sit around all day just kinda calculating Pokemon stats in the the DV calculator. I just wanna catch things and roll with it, because I was catching stuff for a while in some games, and it's just I keep getting bad stuff. So I'd rather just not know at this point. And we'll play as boy. Let's do that. We check the clock. It doesn't matter too much. I think, honestly, I'll make it closer to the middle of the day. The only benefit of morning is maybe finding Teddy Ursa. Okay, have it like this. Yeah, day three is fine. Maybe I can edit it later. Hey, let's do it. Sorry to keep you waiting. Now, the intro is pretty much the same here as Vanilla Crystal. There's going to be plenty of different things to catch here, and gym leaders are going to be running like six Pokemon with lots of coverage. So this is going to be pretty rough. More rough than Blue Kaizo in a lot of ways, from what I understand. Okay, put this in. Yeah, I fixed the issue. OBS just was not recording at all. I had to take a bit of a break and just kind of sort it out. Are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. And I'm going to be taking a Toto. Dylan has recommended to me that Cyndaquil is very bad. It gets like Flame Wheel and nothing else, apparently. Oh, hey. Our neighbor Elm was looking for you. Here's your tutorial stuff. Here you go. Receive the Poke Gear and all that stuff. We're just going to catch things and roll with it. I... DVs aren't going to be mattering too much until, like, very late game. Yes. Okay. Take that there. Because you don't earn, like, effort values or anything in this game. You just kind of have to work with this. Hang on. Excellent. Just hop in, mash the button to get through the dialogue, and take a Pokemon. No stat experience, no effort values. They're equivalent in Gen 1 or 2, I mean. We just kind of have to catch a good good Pokemon with high DVs, but that won't matter until very later in the game. Very much later in the game, I should say. Sorry, I'm kind of flubbing my words a bit. I suppose I might have a little bit of grump left in my voice there from dealing with the tech issues, but that's okay. I've got a Moomin plush on the side. That's very wholesome. There we are. You just got back home? Okay, that's cool. Welcome. There we are. No, no, no. Middle one is Toto. I'll look at their stats, but I'm not gonna just, like, sit around restarting for the best one possible. Even if it is Kaizo, you know, that'll just be a little bit rough if I do that to myself. Just broke one lives beyond Cherry Grove. Direct route there. Call Professor Elm in case you somehow get lost on this quest. I've never done that, though. Your Pokemon's hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Feel free to use it anytime. I'm counting on you. Okay, let's take a look. Maybe it'll be shiny. Another hilarious joke so I can tell myself. Scratch water gun. Attack is like that. Okay, decent enough. Hang on, actually. Go down here. Definitely has less special than that. Okay. It may not be a long-term Toto anyway. I want you to have this for your errand. He's pretty much water coverage. There are only two of us, so we're always busy. Excellent. Now, I don't think many base stats have been changed like they were in Blue Kaizo. Toto just has, like, its vanilla stats for the most part. Alright, that's opened up there. And now we do our best to try and survive. We can pretty much catch starters early on, like Blue Kaizo, so it should be okay. Spit on it. Stab is better than my extra three points of attack. I took the berry away because I don't want to use that. 
The rival will pr pretty much slaughter me. I have no chance of winning that battle. But I need to get experience right now, just so I can run away from encounters later. Okay, take the 15. Can't get Pokeballs until after the errand, so just kind of got, just got to roll with it. Oops. Berry, berry, berry. It's a fruit barren tree. We should all have a plushie when we get comfy with Pokemon. That's the rule. The golden rule. Old man there's got nothing but the map card. He doesn't give anything new in um, Kaizo, does he? Actually, I should probably use the Pokemon Center, because I might white out. Very likely that I could just white out. Heal me up. Toto's got 10 speed, but if I run into a... There's probably some stuff up ahead that'll outspeed me and not let me run. Wonderful. Two berries from the house in the tree over there. I'm trying to get through the Aaron Park quickly so I can catch things. Problem is, stuff doesn't have the, be the best catch rate, is what I'm trying to say. And Pokeballs can be kind of limited early on. Healthier by eating a berry. Yeah, give me a berry. I need to figure out a way to change the, the time on this stuff, though. Because apparently the encounter table for Crystal Kaizo changes drastically depending on whether it's morning, day, or night. So there's just going to be a whole lot of encounters I might miss out on. Do I go for this? I'm going to go for this. This would put me at level 6, which I need. There we go. There we go. You got a Pikachu Squishmallow? Is that how you say it? I know that's like a brand of plushies or something. Alright, it looks like I'm gonna have to run back and heal. Actually, Mr. Pokemon would heal me, but I wouldn't be able to run from any encounters. I'll probably just die. I'm doing this to get the level. Since the stuff around here seems to be level 5, damn it. Okay, let's try it again. Ekans has Headbutt. If I caught an Ekans, I would be able to headbutt the trees right away. And get access to Pineco, Execute, Hoot Hoot. Possibly Heracross, depending on how the trees work, work like that. You got a Volcarona plush? That's good. That's good. My last Pokemon plush was the Teddy Ursa that Dylan got me for Christmas. It's very cute. I don't have any room for those, like, giant ones, though. Not right now, anyway. I do have two giant Moomins, though. Just two giant Moomins that I have no room for, but they're giant Moomin plushies, so of course I have to keep them. What am I gonna do with them? Alright. To the top. PokemonCenter.com. I've gotten a few things from, from them. Um, unfortunately, though, like... Pokemon Center has, like, a Canadian version of the shop that I have to order from, because, you know, I'm Canadian. And it has a much more limited selection. Let's see here. Oh, thank you for all the gifts up there, Ike. I appreciate that. Um, I've gotten a few Pokemon card-related things off that when I need to collect. Okay, Wild Pidgey. Pidgey can't do too much to me. Mr. Pokemon gives me a free heal, so let's just spit water on him. I remember I wanted to order, like, um, the, the, Teddy, the sitting Teddy Ursa plush off Pokemon Center, but I couldn't get it. it. It was one of the few ones that wasn't available in the Canadian store, and I was so upset. Who knows, maybe it's been updated at this point. They have a lot of things on there, like, you see here. They even carry, like, figmas of Pokemon characters on that, on that shop sometimes. You see here. All right, if I can just land one more hit, this will give me a little bit of experience. We're trying to go fast through the Aaron Park, because it's going to catch things. There will come a time in this playthrough where I will have to reset for a good, for like a good Pokemon with good IVs or DVs. But for now, I just, I, I want to just like not worry about that stuff because it gets too frustrating to pop everything in the calculator over and over. Hey, okay, Oddish, I love the little wobble it does. Excellent. 
Hello, hello, you must be Asprey. Professor Elm said you should mash the button for a little a little while until you're out of here. He gives me the egg, Oak gives me the dex, and that's pretty much it. Perfect chance for me to grab a drink. Ooh, pardon me. Yes, yes, it's fine. Don't worry, the, the collection of Moomin and Teddy Ursa plushies is growing. My long-term goal is to kind of just set up, like, a, a big living room with a bunch of shelves and plushies on the couch. That'd be nice. It'd be a cool game room. That's right, I said cool with Moomin and Teddy Ursa. Because they are cool. Anyone who disagrees with that is just lame. Coo cool is in, like, K-E-W-L. <laughs> That's like mid 2000s. Who types like that? Come on now. I'm depending on you. Yes, you are. Just like Elm is depending on me to go catch stuff. Hello, it's a disaster. We've just been robbed. Please get back here now. So there's pretty much no way that I can win the first rival fight. Do I have money to lose? Can I lose money in that battle? Oh, I probably can. That's why they make them overpowered for it, don't they? I should probably spend all my money on potions, because I can't... I can't buy Pokeballs until after the errand. Like, here's the thing. I know that the rival is gonna have a level 6 starter, and it's gonna have my elemental weakness. And it's gonna hurt. Like, no, I know that Chikorita doesn't get Vine Whip, it gets Razor Leaf. There's no way I can outgrind him. So, the best option is just to spend my money. Oh, crap. This is not good. No. Please run. Okay, thank goodness. I can't afford to lose my money getting thundershocked by that rat. Make a save. A specialized plushie room would be nice. I mean, I just want a cool game room to set up, uh, set up some stuff. I still have, like, some prints and stuff of characters that I want to, like, hang on my walls, but I kind of want a dedicated game room set up for it. There we go. Wild little Sentrits. Pikachu is scary. Of course Pikachu is scary. Level 7's not going to make a difference. Like, I am going to die in this fight. There's no getting around that. Let's carefully spend our money first. What do we got? Rage candy bar. Oh, you're just gonna upsell me. Ah, well, do I want this for the field? Maybe I should buy some. Hang on. Buy nine of them. And... Let's get some of these for the road as well. Oopsie. Sorry, I meant to buy one. You're pretty- Kaizo pretty much intends for you to lose your money here. But I can't spend it on Pokeballs, because they're not for sale yet. Okay, here we go. You got Pokemon at the lab? Yeah, I need to clean up my space here a little bit, too. Things are a little bit cluttered, but what can you do? Ideally, once I have the time and space, and okay, yep, it's a guaranteed shiny. He's got the Autumn Chikorita. Name the guy Butt. But what purpose would that serve? Other than a two-second chuckle from the people whose numerical age is a single digit. Oh, look, I'm dead. Critical hit Razor Leaf. You'd find it funny? Do you? Would you? Hmm, that was a waste of time. My name is that. I'm gonna be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. He thinks he's gonna be the greatest trainer. He can't even be... He can't even be the greatest trainer in Johto. It'll be a funny thing every time he shows up. Oops. Alright, my Pokemon gets automatically healed there. Hold up. Can I just beat something right quick to get to level 7? That'd be nice. If he shows up 10 times, that's like 20 seconds of chuckles. Making a compelling argument now, aren't you? Shiny rate isn't adjusted for Kaizo. Not sure I'd really want a shiny anyway, because shinies can't have good DVs. DVs are the equivalent to Gen 1 or Gen 3 and onwards IVs, of course. 
basically means that shinies cannot possibly have great stats. There we go. Level 7. Totodile learned how to bite. I'm pretty sure DV stands for Dieter Values. It's, um, like, the way they have to... They have to program it like that, because they have to save stuff like... Gen 2 mechanics have to be attached to mechanics that can apply to Gen 1. That way it can remember stuff when you send it to a Gen 1 game and trade it back. Oh, I just pressed start. Oh, well. I wasn't gonna name him Butt anyway. That's dumb. Asprey, this is terrible. Yes, I know, I didn't call him Butt. This is what keep mashing can I call your hilarious idea dumb did I maybe what are you gonna do about it I got a woman you can't be mean to me make sure you talk to your mom nope and he will give me five pokeballs local streamer is bullying no I'm not I'm not doing that at all as a kid, I named him question mark, question mark, question mark as well. <laughs> Everybody kind of did. I've seen you a couple times. How many Pokemon have you caught? No. That's why they changed the wording of it for Harkold Soul Silver. Where, like, instead what happens is he's like, Oh no, you saw my trainer card. Now you know my name. Because they realized how, like, badly worded it was before. Hmm. Jeez, pardon me. I kind of just breathed in air wrong. I was never really the type to give rivals intentionally dumb names. That's right, I said dumb. <laughs> no poison. Okay, good. All's right. Fourteen. Okay. I've seen Weedle and Caterpie on this route. And up here, during the daytime, this is apparently where I can find the good stuff. Yep, there's the good stuff right there. Hmm. So, all six starters are here, but... They're starters, so they have bad catch rates. It wouldn't be a good idea to try and use my starting five Pokeballs on these guys. That would just not work out for me. Here's Chikorita. It's going to moiden me. The spawn rates change based on the time of day. What, so is like morning have like higher chance of Kanto starters? What about nighttime? If I could find a Cyndaquil or Charmander, it would be pretty easy to just kill them quickly. Okay. Moonstones could be bought at Goldenrod, so it would be beneficial to catch you, I hope. I think right now Toto's the most common one. Okay. Double kick. I got five Pokeballs on me. Remember, this is Gen 2, so Bite counts as a special move, because, you know, why wouldn't it? Yeah. Local streamer bullies mods and baby, baby Charmanders. Hey, those baby Charmanders need to be beaten up for experience. My water crocodile demands a blood sacrifice for level 8. Damn it. Okay, it's also got headbutt, so I can headbutt trees with this. Or I could white out. I don't have any money, so it doesn't matter if I die. Come on, mash A button. I really need this. Oh, thank goodness. Five Pokeballs at the start is really too little. Even by, like, old Pokemon game standards, they should have given you, like, ten or something. Constantly moves its large ears in many directions in order to detect danger right away. Give a nickname to it. So it's got headbutt. Headbutt, double kick. It's got an attack stat at least, I hope. So we can come back here, bully some Charmanders and Cyndaquils possibly. That'll be a good place to train up. I, 
I don't think I'd be able to fight anything if I headbutted them, because headbutt levels are like... Mm, yeah, they're like level 10, flat, mostly. I think they can show up at level 15, but I don't remember if that's like later areas or something. Youngster Joey might wreck my crap, so I gotta be careful. I just realized I can use uh, Nidoran's double kick for that. That'll be good. Let me go over here. Let me go back to the starter route. Because if I do bump into Cyndaquil, that's an easy water gun kill for easy experience. Ew. 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 Can I get away with killing you? The starter route is something that... Oh, great. It's gonna waste my time is what it's gonna do. Alright, I'm not gonna bother with it then. Of course they put that there. Hoot Hoots can pop out of the trees asleep at level 10. That would be good, like, to beat up for experience at this point. We're playing the long con here, aren't we? I mean, this long con doesn't really work in this context, but it gets me more experience. Which is good in the long run, so I guess it counts. The encounter rate is not very good here, is it? Excellent. Alright, we're not gonna run into anything. They put starters here, so they don't want me running into them a little too frequently, do they? Just keep walking. Okay. Just keep walking. Hang on. I'm gonna get a drink while nothing happens. If I caught Sunkern, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to evolve it until Goldenrod. And Sunflora's garbage anyway. I may as well get Blossom. Oh, hey! I got that Fire Mouse. There's Pikachus on the upcoming route, so I want to be able to make sure I can run away from them consistently. Six. Feels pretty low. Totodile gets crunch. Bite and then immediately to crunch. Kind of been. Hang on. 60, 80. Just get them back to back. Now, is the change to lower special defense, is that the mod doing that? Because I could have sworn that even though crunch counts as special, its normal effect is to lower defense, wasn't it? This Totodile still isn't going to be good enough to sweep Faulkner. Faulkner's just going to kick my ass. Yeah, I know he has six Pokemon. I need, to, I need a whole team together for that one. Excellent. Was it always special defense? All right. Yep, catch you later, sheep. See you later. Oh, pardon me. I'm already flubbing the words, and I feel like I'm going to bite my tongue. I can't consistently run into, like, Sentret down there, can I? Yeah, I think it's Ghost or Shadow Ball that's the weird one, wasn't it? Okay, there's Chikorita. Unfortunately, Nidoran's not a high enough level to deal with that. Headbutt's good enough. Maybe you could take out the bug types, because you can't get poisoned. Yeah, maybe the first round I can train you up a little bit. I can wait to get a Nido King later. Nido King would be pretty sick. It would be pretty nice. It would also be very purple. Do you have any grass moves? Like, do you have Absorb, a Mega Drain, you can Giga Drain? Use one of those and do no damage, please. Nice. Oh, I made a flinch. What? What? Why would you do that? Did they just make this thing Wild Sunkern run frickin' Protect and Synthesis? Why? Do you enjoy wasting my time, game? What's dead now? Hey, look at the grow. 
Level 16, I get Nidorino. And all Evolution Stones in Kaizo should be purchasable at the Goldenrod Department Store, I think. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. It's protecting. The stars are covering up the thing. You know what's weird? Have you ever seen, like, the gen- what Gen 1 and 2 look like in Japanese? The text looks so much smaller, but the English version just opted to use, like, all caps for, like, Pokemon names. So it makes the, like, the battle screen look a lot more, like, packed in comparison. There we are. Maybe, I guess they probably did that because on a small Game Boy screen, they wanted stuff to be more noticeable. Without, like, a dedicated text box in that part, right? I don't know. Okay, level 6 is good. I mean, names also were smaller. Like, Pokemon names in Gen 1 and 2, they had a 5 character limit. Which seems really small, but with, like, Japanese characters, you can, you know... You can kind of just convey a lot more information with a single character that English needs a lot more... A lot more characters for that. Here we go. If I'm explaining that right. It's pretty much why most speedruns use, like, Japanese text. Like, we've all kind of know this stuff by now. Kind of funny, though, to think about how they had to change things, like, how it was programmed. Because, yeah, being able to nickname Pokemon or fit more than five characters on screen for their names probably caused some issues. Well, there's the coin case glitch, of course. That was an infamous example of the the translated versions just, just destroying the game with a busted glitch. You can use the coin case in uh, the English version to just kind of glitch yourself into the end credits. Alright, one more kill and then I'll go the next route. I want to make sure the Pokémon I have is topped up. It doesn't look like there's anything worthwhile catching here. Yeah, two letters per syllable. Because, like, most Japanese characters, if we were to write them out in, uh, English, it would be, like, two English letters, right? Like, something like Wa is one character, but, you know, you'd write it as W and A. What's the term for that? I think it's, like, Romanized or Romanji when you write foreign characters like that. I, I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue. I don't know. I only speak one language. I just know this stuff. There we go. Let's heal up. Hello, welcome to our Pokemon Center. Heal me up. I have no money until I start beating up Joey and all that. I can double kick his Rattata. I mean, he has to have Rattata, right? No, it's only the guy after them that has Pidgey and something else, right? Can't go grab the Mystic Water. Nidoran might be MVP here. You can pretty much expect random grass moves to be on things. Speaking of random grass... You can't absorb or poison powder me, so this is actually a safe bet. Lynched. And I think that's a 10% chance. Not reliable, but nice if it goes off. And Stun Spore. I have to run back and heal now. I mean, I do have a Paralyze Heal, actually. I could just use that. I don't want to run all the way back. I only bought that Paralyze Heal to kind of just, um, save some time anyway. And, like, Rattata's chance to put me to sleep. 55, damn. Okay. Poison Cure Berry. Paralyzed Heal Berry is the one in Violet City. I love how in Gen 3 they gave the berries, like, their own names and stuff. They were very generically named in Gen 2. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokémon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. Cleffa has the shortest name in Japanese. It's two letters. Cleffa's, once again, Cleffa takes another title. In addition to being Satan. It's called PP. Well, it is pretty pissy. Double kick it. Okay, double. That's a stab, and you're level six. 
Resisting well enough. Fun fact about Double Kick on Nidoran. Um, it actually didn't, like, become a staple for, like, these Pokemon until Yellow version. Like, in Red and Blue, it couldn't learn Double Kick until, like, level 40-something. Same with, like, Nidorino. It's like you were supposed to, like, train it before using the Moonstone. Oh, Mudslap. Nice. But in Yellow version, they made it so that it gets Double Kick super early on. Both the guy and the girl version. And the reason they did that is so that you had another option for fighting Brock, because you have to start with Pikachu in Yellow version. Here we are. I guess I can go immediately try and fight you, but I'll take your number as well. Let's do that. Yep. Take that there. Oh no, Cleffa's P, Clefairy is PP, and Clefable is Pixie. Alright. Let's fight you. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? Then you have to battle. Heck yeah, we're battling. What was I talking about? I immediately got distracted. <laughs> I forgot my line of thought. Oh, and I sound like I just made a laughing seal noise. I need a drink. Double kick, thank you. Yeah, and double kick after yellow version just kind of, um, stayed like that. I'm gonna let Toto do this. Like, it became like a low-level learned move for the Nidoran line at once yellow version changed it, just so you had an option for Brock. Kind of like how Fire Red Leaf Green made it so that Charmander gets Metal Claw early on, just for the sake of fighting Brock. Come on, don't miss. And I missed. This is fine. Take a bite out of that pigeon. Oh, this is gonna suck. Okay, it failed. I'm not pretty sure Crunch would do more at this point. Take a bite out of that. So Fire and Leaf Green, yeah, they keep the fact that Nidoran learned Double Kick early on, but if you try and do it in Red and Blue, like, it, you have to get it to, like, level freaking 40-something. It's hilarious. So it's definitely not an option for Brock in those games. Come on, just gonna land one more hit. There you go. Are we speed tied? I moved faster that time. Well, here's a Sentret. I definitely have to switch because I'm low on accuracy. Well, let's hope the double kick will work here. And for the same reason, yeah, Yellow Version also added Mankey to that route uh, next to Viridian City. Specifically just so you had, an, like, a fighting type for Brock. But Fire, and Fire and Leaf Green kept Mankey there, but Red and Blue never had it there at all. Okay, now that I've done that, I gotta go back and heal and probably buy some more Pokeballs while I'm at it. Because it's very easy to just kind of white out. One or two levels changes a lot this early. Yeah, it does. Feels a lot better to not just, like, reset until I got a good one. This Nidoran and Totodile could have, like, zeros in everything, and I wouldn't even know. I'm just not even gonna worry about it. The team will have to probably be different by the end anyway. As much as I really, really want them to all be perfect stat, like, I don't have enough Pokeballs to reset for that. It's just gonna demotivate me again. Let's go. Take our time. Beat up everyone. How has it been a half hour? And I'm only just past Youngster Joey and Mikey. Well, I needed the levels. No bully self. I will do whatever I want. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Alright, well, it's good to take a break, fix the text issues, and uh, take a breather, though. It'll be long, but we don't have to rush through the game. I try to make it a rule now that when I start a game on stream, I never, like, try to tell myself it needs to be done before a certain amount of time. I need to rush to the end. The goal is red, yeah, if I can. I imagine post-game is going to be its own Wild West when we get to it. Because if I ever feel like I have to finish a game before I can start another one, I just I feel I end up feeling miserable and I don't want to play the game, right? If I take a break from something for a week or two weeks before I do another episode, so be it. 
It's worked out pretty well for me. I end up with games like Digimon where I can just kind of turn them on and binge the story for like three or four hours. Excellent. No problem, friend. I'm glad you like the Yu-Gi-Oh. Hopefully I can do some more Yu-Gi-Oh in the future. One day I'll get around to Pulse Mound, maybe. I keep- I realized I forgot to do that. I started the Kaiba campaign in False Bound and I finished it. And I wanted to do the Yugi campaign, but so much happened in this past month that everything's just been in disarray. There we go. I got the list of all the monsters and everything. For those that missed it, I'll mention it for like the 50th time, because I still get questions from people about it. Instead of a bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. Like, oh, just over a month ago, I had a fainting spell, and I hit my head, and I spent some time in the hospital, and spent about a week unable to, like, stream or work on anything. And it's only been recently that I finally felt, like, fully caught up and recovered from all that. It was, really, it was a really sucky thing to deal with. Psybeam. Okay, Lenny Bus should not have that. Here we are. Then again, I suppose Ledian does get that, doesn't it? It gets the screens. It gets made fun of. I know that's something Ledian gets. Alright. Spinarak. Uh, let's let Toto do this. Nidoran is my real starter as far as I'm concerned. Lediba is also good in Purity Forest, that's true. Let me see here. Pardon me. I just, like, went to get a drink and just... <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard that. That was a weird noise. Yes, this is going on YouTube. Excellent. Spin on it. I should try Crunch. It's probably gonna do more. I just feel like Stab would do a little bit more. Okay, Nightshade. No problem. No problem. You can bite out of that, boy. Now, after this guy... Hmm, there's one more trainer. How much money I got? Did I spend it yet? I did not. Should probably just go back and heal. Mind the poison flashing for a second there. That guy normally has a handful of Pokemon. He might mess me up. Dark Cave should be a good spot to train Toto a little bit. Unfortunately, teddy bears show up in the morning at Dark Cave in this game, and Vanilla Crystal, but they have a high chance of fleeing. So, can't reliably catch a bear friend. I'm sorry, chat. I want the teddy as well. The teddy is a friend, but we can't always get it. Anyways, I got distracted again by that bug catcher battle. What was I talking about? Right, my uh, my head and stuff again. Yeah, once that happened, I spent the, a little while just kind of mentioning that at the start of like every stream. Because I know not everyone watches every si every single game series going on. To the point where it felt like I was repeating myself every damn day about it. Excellent. Annoying for the people that watch every series, like real fans do. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm joking. I need to clarify that. There we are. Imagine it got repetitive. Believe me. Uh, oops. Go up there. I kind of forgot to spend my money down there again, but I can buy, like, one Pokeball with it, so it's not a huge deal. You can't poison me, and I... This counts as a physical attack in this game. No, I'm not gonna... I'm not, I'm not like that. I'm not gonna be one of those people where be like, Oh, you don't watch everything I make? Oh, you're a fake fan. How dare you, you fake fan. I'm not gonna be like that. I make what I want and play what I want, and chat, you can watch whatever you want and like whatever you want, just like that. Pokemans are fun, though. They do well. That's why I wanted to start another Pokemon game in addition to this, with Infinite Fusion. Just gonna get, get a bit more Pokemon out there. It's fun for me. I kind of 
bolsters the stream a bit for other stuff. It's why I can play obscure RPG Maker games and indie games as well. If I put Pokemon in front of it, people are, people might stick around for that weird stuff. Okay, there's Mom. Sorry, I didn't tell Mom. And now she's gone. I'm not sure if I can get early Moonstone from her, but... One's guaranteed at Goldenrod. Okay. Hmm. Let's slap. I gotta remember to update Infinite Fusion uh, for tomorrow's stream. That's right. It got updated, and there's like what, like hundreds of extra, hundreds of new sprites added to it. I think. Kill this thing. This Nidoran actually is pretty set up pretty well to deal with this. Oh, Swift's going through that. Name your next Pokemon Don Zalug Supreme Thumbnail. That's a funny thing to me. That random Yu-Gi-Oh stream that has like part 20-something in the title. I put Don Zalug in the thumbnail, and for some reason that VOD has like twice as many views as all the other ones. Which is really funny to me, because who cared that much about Don Zalug? The algorithm, apparently. I cannot predict this stuff. That's why you should just play what you want, and if it does well, it does well. Alright. Let's keep going. 40 minutes, I made it to Dark Cave. The encounter rate in here is apparently abysmal, but if I can run into some rock ground types, it's easy winnings by just spitting on them. There we go. You know what's funny, though? Um, On the subject of the algorithm in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like I said, that Don Zalug stream, the one that's, like, randomly just, like, episode 20-something, did so, so well, but at the same time... Oh, hey, a Swinub! That's cool. Do I need ice types right now, though? I don't know. Will you live this? Let's find out. Around the same time, I did a stream where I played with a broken Exodia deck, and a part of me was thinking that, like, a weird one-off with Exodia and the name and title would do super well. And it did do okay, but the Don Zalug episode just did so much better, and it was really funny to me. Because apparently there's more nostalgia for frickin' Don Zalug than Exodia. I'll try a Pokeball, but I don't have very much left. It's ground ice. Is... Uh, does Piloswine have any additions to its base stats? Because I know that in Blue Kaizo, Electabuzz basically was given Electivire's base stats. Does uh, Piloswine get Mamoswine's stats? That would be good. Oh, it does? Really? Well, yes to buff, but is it... It has... Piloswine has the stats of Mamo. Okay, I'm sold. I'm sold. That's pretty good. Pig. It uses the tip of its nose to dig for food. Its nose is so tough that even frozen ground poses no problem. Nice. Let's take a look at it. So, Pile of Swine's primary, primarily a physical attacker, though, so the ice stuff is not the best. Okay, it comes with Magnitude. Yeah, I, I could run this. Maybe the ice would help against Faulkner. Okay, what do y'all think of the team so far? I'm, I'm liking this variety. Of course, once I have Nido King, I'm probably going to be doubling up on ground types, but... That's not the worst thing, is it? I mean, I feel like I should probably have more than just six set Pokemon. Because I'm going to need to mix the team up a bit if every gym leader is going to have, like, uh, a full team of six. Especially if Kanto is probably going to have max level freaking teams of six with champion items and stuff. First gym is flying type. There we go. Um, I hope that, uh, Pile of Swine can get Blizzard and Ice Beam through level up, because Ice Shard and Ice Fang obviously don't exist. Let's see what else I can get in here. It's easy to just kind of spit water on guys. 
Um, I, 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 I just realized something. A way I can train Pilot Swine, I could use, um, headbutts on the trees and use Powder Snow on the Sleeping Hoot Hoots. I'm a genius. A genius! And, uh, I'm also lacking encounters. I'm just walking back and forth in the Creepypasta Void. Come on. Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. There we go. This took forever. There's another swine. It's not a green piggy. But it's okay. Gen 5 just reached in and stole the encounter rates in this game. That's why there's none here. Apparently, if there's good stuff on a route or area, this game just lowers the encounter rate drastically to make you look for it, I guess. I'm almost to Violet City. That's how far I've gotten. Okay. Probably come back in here a little later. It seems like a good grind spot for Toto. Now what do we got? We pick up all the stuff. It's a bitter berry. Ugh, bitter. There we go. You know, speaking of, of like, funny taste and stuff... Oh, alright, counter already. I saw a thing today on social media that I thought was really, really funny. So, you know, you know how, like, there's all these weird Japanese candies, right? You've probably, like, at least heard of them. Like, they're, they're a huge thing. Sometimes they make, like, little, little boxes they send out for you. Um, but I, there's this new candy. It's, like, Sundere-flavored gum. And apparently when you start chewing on it, it tastes really, really sour, but then it gets really, really sweet. And, like, on the packaging, there's just a Sundari girl with, like, uh, twin tails. Oh, okay, this thing's gonna use... It's gonna... Brass attack me for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was very funny. Oh, stun sporing. Okay. Headbutt. No effect spore. Isn't that just Sour Patch Kids? Well, this is gum, but whatever. I don't know. <laughs> what would Yandere gum taste like? At first it's sweet, and then you realize there's blood in it. <laughs> it's for weebs. Everything's for weebs. We own the world. Get used to it. Come on. <sighs> Alright, fine. I wonder if Swineup can get the hit in. Because I know this thing's gonna Mega Drain or Giga Drain. Nice, I'm faster. It just has, like, Liquid Cherry Center. Oh, that would be... Oh, man. I'm giving them ideas. Ooh, needs a bit of experience to level up, huh? Krabby. Alright, I don't think Toto can solo this, to be honest. I might die here. I don't know, I just thought the idea of, um, Sundere gum was just very, very funny to me. I didn't have the picture saved. I'm sure you could probably just Google it and find what I mean. Actually, it seems like one of the things you'd probably Google it and you'd get something questionable, so maybe you shouldn't. But, um, trust me, bro. <laughs> Just keep using Crunch. It's my strongest attack, I guess. Okay, good. I might be able to get through this. He made Dairy Gum is overpriced. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty funny, actually. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> I'm paying extra for this gum. Oh, wait. It tastes like crap. There we go. I've never had fancy Japanese candy. I've heard good things. It, it, damn, I kind of want to order some now. Excellent. Hime Dairy is basically like the, the rich girl, right? Pretty sure Hime literally means like princess or something. 
So the idea is the gum is overpriced because rich girl. There we go. Joke is now explained. Japanese candy's good because the flavors taste less artificial. Alright. I kind of want to try some. I mean, I, I can kind of get that. It might be surreal to me because I'm Canadian and uh, we have, like, our sweets have, like, a lot less sugar put into them. Like, I remember one time my mom went on, like, vacation to, like, America with my sister. This was years and years ago. And she brought back some, like, American Oreos. And I tried, and I tried them, and I wanted to throw up because they had so much sugar in them. And then I, like, was reminded that, like, oh yeah, America just puts, like, so much sugar and stuff. And it just tasted, like, super gross and sweet to me at the same time. Hey, there we go. Hope to see you again. Excellent. If I were to try American soda, I'd probably vomit, to be honest. I, I haven't had soda in such a long time that, like, uh, whenever I do, like, attempt to taste it, it just tastes, like, too sugary and gross for me because I'm not used to it anymore. Excellent. Let me look over here. I haven't had, really had much soda since, like... I want to say it's it's been, like, more than half a year. I had a little too much of it last year. Hello, Ponyta! Unfortunately, you're Ponyta, so you're not good, but... Random place for you. It's kicking. I used to be a generic gamer, and I would have a little too much Mountain Dew, to be honest. It wasn't super great. I remember, like, when I finally started drinking it, it stopped drinking it so much. I, I felt so much better. <laughs> I kind of just, like, made too much of a habit. Like, before, years and years ago, I used to I used to stream all the time with an energy drink, and that was a very bad idea. Don't, like, get hooked on that stuff so much. Slash? Yeah, we'll take that. And to ease out of that, I switched to soda. And then I eventually had to ease out of soda, so now I just kind of have, like... Fizzy water with a bit of, like, flavoring poured into it when I drink. Um, when I stream. I have some of that on, on my table right now. There you go. Hey. You remember when I would open cans while streaming? Yes. Yes, yes. I don't really have a favorite Pokemon type. Alright, hit that there. I'm gonna kill this thing. Maybe I should try putting Swine up up front. Sprout Tower is also up ahead, but I should- Oh, you got Toxic? Bro! You're level 8 Oddish. Okay. Nidoran's level 11. Powder Snow would be good against our cave Pokemon. Also, yeah, it looks different over here. Hang on a second, I should try headbutting stuff now. Nope, nothing. I feel like I got decently far for Kaizo right now. So, headbutt trees are a very weird mechanic in Gen 2. Especially since they were changed again in Crystal. Like... Every tree in the game that isn't in a town, I think, just kind of has, like, a, is assigned a value based on, like, your trainer ID. So there's trees with nothing, there's trees with common mons only, there's trees with uncommon and rare encounters, which is where you find the stuff like Apom and Heracross. Yeah, I think it would be faster to just kind of open... No, yeah, opening the menu is kind of faster. Like, let me show you. People are going to... I'm gonna get YouTube comments about it if I don't do, don't show. Okay, let me show you. When you have the menu set up properly with the with the memory here, yeah, like this. Hang on, is it set? It's faster to just open the menu and then mash A to do it like this, as opposed to just pressing A in front of the tree. It's a couple extra text boxes, so it technically saves time. 
See? Slightly faster. Slightly, slightly faster, as long as you put the cursor in memory first. We're saving the frames right now, is what we're doing. It's probably a good thing you pointed that out, because I'm gonna- probably would have gotten like a billion YouTube comments saying otherwise. When you get an encounter, the cursor has to be reset. Let me see here. Like that. Come on. Execute Heracross. Ooh. Okay, it's sleeping. It should be level 10, so this is easy pickings for uh, Swine up here. Hopefully he doesn't wake up. Yeah, you're back on the caffeine. I, I get ya. Caffeine, um... I remember last year, I think it was around the time I started playing Explorers of the Sky. Um... Yeah, I was trying to ease out of caffeine completely, and... It w I had, like, major headaches from the withdrawal. I actually had to still drink a little bit of soda and some other stuff, just so I wouldn't have headaches. Like, I looked it up. You apparently can't just, like, with that entirely, just completely cut it out of your diet. Oops. Okay, it resets. Let's keep doing this here. Hey! There are eggs. They can also explode. I want one with higher attack DVs, and I know that can't happen when it's a girl. That's just how the game is programmed. Don't get mad at me. You see here. We get Giga Drained. Maybe I can kill it fast enough. This. I know it knows explosion, but let's just go. The stones are in this game. You can buy them. Oh, damn it. It's got side beam. I gotta get out of here. My team actually isn't well-suited to fight this thing, is it? <sighs> yeah, let's run. Excellent. Let's go back. Go back and back and back over here. Yay. We could pop in the Sprout Tower. I feel like I need a little bit more levels first, though. I could try going back to Dark Cave first. Hello, friend. Welcome. Okay. I'm kind of glad I took a break earlier to fix the tech issues and take a breather. I feel like I'm having a much better time. Things are going much smoother. So we'll just keep going with this for a bit, and then I'll do some... I'll finally start Pocket Mirror. I've very much been excited to play that today. No, we can't get Teddy Ursa right now. It's daytime, not morning. Excellent. Put the swine up up front, maybe. See if I can get something in here. Did I get Joey's number? I did do that, didn't I? Okay, he hasn't called me. I should also get that bug catcher's number. Maybe he'll rebattle me. Come on, come on. There we go. I've been looking forward to, to the Pocket Mirror remake. Pocket Mirror is one of those RPG Maker games that I played, like, super early when I started Let's Playing. I remember, like, I played the demo for it, the original game, and was excited. You can explode, can't you? Please don't do that. Please die with your not sp no special defense. Oh, golly! I didn't- yeah, I did do a few playthroughs of that, didn't I? Well, that really sucks. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I haven't done as much horror stuff through the years. Because the, the simple reason is I kind of exhausted that well pretty quickly, didn't I? There's a lot of bad indie horror stuff, but when you find the good stuff, you find the good stuff. Hang on. Double kick you. I really want the swine up to grow because it's really going to be needed for Sprout Tower and uh, Faulkner, so this is... What you got? What are you doing? Stop that. Bro. Bro, come on. Kill him. 
I like the hoot hoot idea. Maybe I should just do that for swine up. There's headbutt trees here as well. Let's go back and heal first. How about that? Oh, good old gatehouse. Spooky games are great. I love them. I've been trying to um, make some more spooky themed videos. I have not done much of that since like the start of like, you know, the, the pandemic and all that. There we go. I mean, just this past year, I've ha had a bunch of issues trying to get videos written. I haven't saved in a bit, you're right. Look at that. But after I kind of, like, recovered from my injury and have been feeling, like, back to, like, 110%, I actually did, like, write a lot for some scripts the other night. I finally finished a huge one. Excellent. Headbutt. I've had ones that I've been working on for, like, several months that I keep having to put down because, like, health stuff gets in the way. Yeah, let me stretch. I haven't done enough of that. There we go. Oh, my back needed the stand. Ladybug can be a headbutt mon. Let's see if, um... Actually, you can side beam and Mega Drain, so... Oh, bro, what the hell? <laughs> Get a drink, yeah. I don't think you can really run into stuff. Health comes first, yeah, I know. Like, I do remember that. You know, let me tell you, like, I remember, like, the day I had my, uh, injury, and I came home, and, like, well, I came home, like, much later. By the time I got home, it was, like, 10 in the morning, and I was there, like, since late in the, late at night. Oh, that was a fun time. And I had, like, messages of people asking me when the next video was coming out, and I've never been in, like, more of a pissy mood to not want to do anything. <laughs> now I'm just venting. Don't mind me. Excellent. Hello, Mr. Content Machine. I demand one content right now. Excellent. Well, I barely got anything for that. Now I have to head back and heal, because Swineub is poisoned. <laughs> Hang on. Let's get that. Get your number. I found all kinds of berries. Maybe I'll need his berries. So I'll take his number and I'll delete it later. All I did was turn game. Hello, Sprout. I'm having a good day, I'd say. Fix some issues, and I'd say we're good as gold now. I'm just gonna go for it. Damn it. Obviously, my special ain't very great. If it uses Razor Leaf or Vine Whip, I'm pretty much oh, dead, aren't I? I'm gonna just switch to Nidoran. This will pr he'll probably be guaranteed to get a level. Excellent. I know all the good moments and teddies can wait for things to be ready. The people that want stuff to be done and uploaded right now, well, they're just gonna... Even if I did that, they just, like, complain for the next thing right away. It's all is good. Good as gold, clear as crystal. I see the funny you made there. Special attack is three points lower. What about Nidoran? I might be getting Nidorino before I try and fight Faulkner. If I can get um, Swineup's level up a little bit, I should be able to fight the um, the gym trainers at least for Powder Snow. Um, can I get away with a high roll for Magnitude? Productivity not welcome. Do I need to tap the sign? Yeah, exactly. There you go. There we are. Magnitude can be a good move to have early on. The roll goes from like four to nine, right? Is ten a roll? Oh my god, I can't remember. Does magnitude actually have a ten or does it go to nine? There we go. That's fine, friend. Everybody's fine to lurk. They don't have to participate in chat. There we go. There is a 10? Okay. I'm just questioning basic knowledge all of a sudden. Okay. 
Try going back to Dark Cave again. Uh, I got self-destructed. It's always good. There we go. Lurkers make the world go round. Like, I've had times where someone will, like, resub and they'll say it's, like, their 40th month in a row. And then they'll post a chat message and it will and it will say that like it's their first chat message ever. Lots of people lurking, it's it's fine. There we are. This stuff's a lot more common than you think. Nobody has to feel pressured to participate in chat. I'm not following the streamer booker. Okay, swine up. That reminds me, like I seen a thing. It was a video making fun of um making fun of, like, a streamer guide for how you're supposed to do streaming, right? And one of the things that the the class or course was trying to teach was that you have to, like, say, like, a lot of weird personal things to your chat. Like, if a chat member mentions they have a dog, you should remember to bring up that dog every stream. And I'm like, that just sounds weird and creepy. I'm not gonna do that. That sounds like I'm trying to memorize details about someone. Like, you know how a cartoon character tries to learn a bunch of, like, irregular things about a girl so that they date them? That's what that sounds like to me. <laughs> it's too much work. Oh, hi, Mana. Don't worry, I just took a breather and, like, reset things. Had some tech issues. Things are going much better now, don't worry. I got a swine of a Nidoran. There we go. Yeah, I did. Point is probably personal connection. I mean, I know that, but... It gets a bit weird. Like, if you're trying to be personal with someone for the sake of, like, freaking algorithm engagement, you're going to sound like someone. You're going to sound like a freaking hollow puppet. <laughs> it just sounds weird to me. Very, very weird. Oh, there it is. Okay, I got the switch, though. You can take it, Toto. Needs to go beyond just regular stream interaction, don't it? Don't it? Okay, people like to be remembered by name. That's true. Sometimes I don't read out usernames because I'm afraid it's going to be something stupid and I have to, like, stop myself. Oh! Hi, Deli Bird. You here to bring presents? Is there a bear in that bag? You switched to Nidoran, maybe. Excellent. I mean, you say that, but I've genuinely had people show up and they'll, like, they'll try to highlight a message of something stupid, thinking I'm going to read it out loud. There we are. That kind of just makes me cringe, though. Excellent. Some usernames are sus. Yeah, we could just say that. Excellent. I don't know, that just seems weird. Imagine if, like, at my desk, I put up a sign for myself that says, Remember, say them, call them by name, and you'll get more algorithm points. No, I will not read that message out loud, Mighty Meat, then. <laughs> Take care of myself? How dare you? Don't highlight that. There we are. Now I remember your name, Red. Alrighty. Some people do assume that if the chat, if, if the streamer doesn't read your message out loud, then they didn't see it. And that has led to some awkward situations before. I'm already getting bodied a bit. Is this enough levels for Swineub? Hope so. Let's find out. Swineub flinched. Okay, perfect. Hey. Okay. Should be good. I think we're almost ready for Sprout Tower. Let's try and get some Hoot Hoot kills next. Excellent. I've, I remember once I was doing a stream and someone showed up, like, uh, asking where they could, like, get the game, and less than, like, one minute later, they, they typed, like, a big passive-aggressive message about how I didn't read their message and I was a terrible streamer. So, of course, they just get the boot for doing that, because, like, why would I want them to stick around after that? 
And then after the stream, they sent me a really long message about how I, I, my career was going to fail because I did not care about my viewers. And less than two minutes, I checked the timestamp. There we go. That, that person just had a meltdown over that. Excellent. There we go. Just trying to fix my seat. Hello, Snubble. I need to get back to the Pokemon Center. That's what I'm trying to do now. That's not the most wild thing that's happened to me while streaming. That doesn't even make, like, the top 20. I thought I just smelt something burning for a second. But I don't know what the hell. That Maybe that was just, like, like a scent from the window or something. I don't know. Everything is fine. We've all had one of those moments. Crystal Kaizo is meant to be a super hard mod of Crystal version. Okay, let's poke my head into Sprout Tower first. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna have to backtrack and leave anyway. All right. Um. So there's stairs there. That probably leads to where I think it does, if I'm remembering the vanilla route. That's probably just the regular NPC, not a battle. Hang on. All roads re lead to stairs. Okay. There's a sprout in here. be easier to just switch into Nidoran here, because the Bell Sprouts can have Razor Leaf. And this can't poison me. Excellent. I'm gonna headbutt. It's got the ho -Oh puzzle, yeah, the Tin Tower jump paths. Unless it can't poison? I thought it could. Am I thinking Mystery Dungeon? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Sway like leaves in the wind. I'm gonna need to take a specific path to get back to the exit. Pardon me. I want to say I had that, like, weird hiccup heartburn noise. No, not noise. Pain. How do I confuse those words? Who cares? I'm in pain. And I'm making noise. That's all that matters. Um... Let Toto do it. Toto should be okay for this. Noise pain. Beam. Hollywag spitting bubbles. Slash might be my strongest option now, especially if it crits, because I have higher attack than special. I don't think this Toto got a good special roll. There we go. Then again. Excuse me? Dude, you're you're a sage at Sprout Tower. Not the will of the Elite Four. What the hell is your problem? Yeah, you deserve that. That's what you deserve. I hope that costs you an entire paycheck. Bell Sprout. Okay. Iteran can do this. Frickin' Max Potion on his level 9 Poliwag. Alright, Poison Rhino Rabbit. You can do it. Lynched the one in ten. Eat butt, Moomin. Ooh, two in a row. Better save some PP here and just finish you with this. Taking inspiration from the rich kids in Emerald, yeah. Cubone. Um. I'm gonna put in Swine Up and I'm gonna switch to. He's not gonna have anything super effective, but Swineup's not exactly the most, like, sturdy Pokémon. For all I know, this is Kaizo, so it could be holding the Thick Club. Hang on, the Thick Club works for Cubone and Marowak, right? Not just Marowak? Never thought about that, but I assume as much. Yes? Okay. Because this is Kaizo, so items are on the table now. Do it. 
Okay. How easy is it to get a thick club in Soul Silver and Heart Gold? Okay. Oh, I'm weak. Let me see. Team is looking all right here. Got two potions. I bought these Rage candy bars. Let me just use this on Toto. That should be okay for now. I might have to fight someone else before I can leave. Item down there. Max accuracy. Couldn't get that. Good old Blue Kaizo. Dead ends there. What else can I find down here? Pretty annoying, 5% on wild Q bones when they come from the safari zone. This should be actually pretty easy kill for uh, swine up here. So does only pilot swine have ch uh, changes to its base stats? Or does swine up like get a little bit of a buff? Okay. I think... Pilot Swine happens at level 30, if I'm not mistaken, because I had something fused with uh, Swine Up and Infinite Fusions. Uh, hang on. Okay, yeah, I see how to get the stairs, yeah. However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. I think just Pilot Swine has it. It's 33? Okay, yeah. That sounds actually right. Yeah, what if I... I said 30, didn't I? Okay, easy kill. It's going to absorb Mega Drain or Giga Drain, though, for sure. Please hit. Take your times for weakness and die, Hoppip. Damn you to hell. Oh. I'll take that, too. Oh. You know, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. It won't... It won't unfreeze your Hoppip. Oh, look, I got a crit. Kaizo has some karma to deal out today, and I'm all for it. That's 142 on a level 10? Damn, is Swine Up in, like, the, a really slow experience group? It certainly feels like it, doesn't it? This thing could have confusion, but it won't get stab out of that. Actually, maybe I should... That's right, yeah, confusion. Maybe I should just send in Toto. Only level 9, but still. It is a late game Pokemon, yeah. I think it's in slowest? Damn! Does Swine Up really need to be there? Well, hopefully it'll be worth it with Pilot Swine. Since Pilot Swine gets buffed to Mamo Swine stats, it could be worth it. Larvitar. Another one I could powder snow. Let's watch out. I don't want an early Larvitar, because that I'm not training that thing level 55. It's just not happening at all. Okay. Okay, I can do this. I can win this. Come on, swine. Ooh, that was a crit. I thought he was gonna max potion for a second. Okay. I fought hard, but I'm too weak. It's Joey. Yo, how's it going? This is Joey. Got a minute? Let's get together and battle. He's still gonna have level 6 Rattataz until I get more badges. But I could get, like, less than 100 money if I go there. More encounters. What do we got here? Ball picks. Hmm. How good Ninetales. How good is Ninetales? I don't suppose it's received any buffs to its base stats as well, would it? 
Then again, I don't think I'd really want to use Volpix right now anyway. If anything, if I would want Ninetales, I'd probably just come back for this later. There's plenty of other fire types to think about as well. You can always go back for a Charmander on the early route. Yeah, I don't need to worry too much about it. All that matters is it's there right now. There we go. So I just realized, is... I feel like my microphone's a little lower than normal all of a sudden. Has it been like that all day? Okay, that leads to that, I see. Hang on a second. I need to check something. This is bothering me right now. I might be imagining it. Hang on. Okay, no, it's fine. I thought it just, like, lowered it. Accidentally lowered my microphone input for a second there. I've had an issue with, um, my controller. Oh! Apom's in here, okay. I don't remember that being a palm sprite in this gen. Swap to you. What was I saying? Um, I've had an issue before where my um, where I'm clicked into OBS with my Xbox controller, and something funky with the Steam like controller inputs, like actually makes me do things to the microphone settings with my controller, and it's the stupidest thing that I that should not be allowed to be possible. I just wanted to make sure I didn't actually accidentally do that again. Okay, a little bit there. I'm trying to get out of here. Just let me... I need to get back up to that one again. Sprout Tower is filled with bell sprouts. Let's hop in a skip and hop in a skip. Okay. There we go. Okay, I got out. So it seems like there's still a handful of trainers in there as I climb up. I want to make sure I'm topped up to fight everything in there. Because it'd be a pain in the ass to have to go all the way back. Considering how that dungeon seems to be laid out. They certainly made it interesting to go through Sprout Tower, didn't they? I wonder if beating the gym trainers before doing that would be good too. Hold up. Okay, there's no southern exit here now. That means the only way down is to go through uh, the ruins of Alf. Which means they probably did something funky over there, right? Right? It's gonna be fun, ain't it? Sprout Tower basically does count as a dungeon now, if you ask me. Hang on. Let's get some Hoot Hoots, please. It's wind up slow to grow, but it definitely has good potential. It can't really take good advantage of magnitude right now, especially since the upcoming gym is flying type. But powder snow ain't no joke. Here we go. It's ice stab. Even though my special's not great, we can take advantage here. This is a hoot of a stream. That's right, it is. The biggest hoot in the world. Let's go. Don't want to run into Execute again. Execute might be something I want to catch, to be honest. In fact, I should probably go buy some more, um... Some Pokeballs right quick. I've been getting some trainer money. I don't want to backtrack to Joey right yet. Poor thing was taking a nap, and then it paid the price. Okay. Go buy some. Gimme, gimme, gimme. How can I help you, Pokeball? Buy five more. How much do I have in total? I only caught two Pokemon. Eight. No Premier Balls to get. I'm not sure when Great Balls actually become available. I'm not optimistic that they're available at Nazalia. Then, uh, let's see if we can get some more stuff here. Headbutt. 
encounter here. It'd be pretty sick if I could get early hair across off one of these trees. Okay, here's Ladybug again. These things can toxic, which is a pain in the ass, though. So if that's the case, maybe I should just let Nidoran do it. Drain. Yeah, I found Swineup in um, Dark Cave. Apparently, Pile of Swine has the stats of Mammo Swine in this game, so it's kind of worth it to probably use in the long run. Downside is that I can't take full advantage of its ground typing and coverage until after I'm done the flying gym. Nidoran's really holding its own, too. Like, this thing is doing really good. I know this is an encounter tree. It's not always best to keep checking multiple trees, because some trees, like, have a 0% chance of ever having encounters. And I found, like, that this one has encounters. That means my trainer ID decided that this one gets to have them. I don't know if it's a common tree, uncommon tree, or whatever. Of course, you can always just get stupid unlucky. Like, I, I, I feel like maybe there's a person who made out there who made a video about it, but headbutt trees are very strangely made. It's even weirder how, since, like, they change, like, how they function in crystal specifically after gold and silver already made it. Can I tank a side beam? I want to see if I can solo you. Okay, there we go. Ladybug tree isn't really the best one to be farming, though. Okay, that was a crit. Ladybug isn't really that great of a Pokemon to beat up, but for some reason it's got coverage now. 77. I can also just see what's in this grass here. Won't quite be level 10. There's Ponyta. Ah, I can magnitude this if I outspeed it. Oh, no, it's Ponyta. I shouldn't have challenged it in the speed dude duel. Nine. Okay, this is guaranteed to kill. Damn, 173 off that. Uh, I should just use a potion. This is probably the best place to train Swine Up, not looking for Hoot Hoots. So funny that Ponyta can just be out and about like that. Heracross apparently gets a very good, like, uh, level up moves in this game. But, um... The thing I'm also wondering about... Okay, I can also just magnitude this. Does Heracross have any base stat changes? I don't actually know. I'm not, I don't know if Heracross had good stats or not in Gen 2. Because I just remember that it kind of, like, did not get good moves, so it wasn't that great when it debuted. No changes? Okay. Because, like, Heracross didn't really have fighting coverage in Gen 2. It had to get, like, Brick Break in Gen 3 to actually make use of that. No, I don't need a list. I'm just kind of curious about this one, Mullen. Yeah, Heracross had Megahorn. I can't remember... Oh, nice, Growlithe. Was Megahorn an exclusive move, or did um, Pinsir also get it? Can't recall. Yeah, this is actually a perfect spot to train up the pig. Megahorn was exclusive, okay. Damn it. It's just barely... Not killing, huh? Yeah, you can give it Rock Smash. Rock Smash is a move. I wonder how the rental Heracross is in Stadium 2. People have been telling me that the rental mons in Stadium 2 are, like, absolutely abysmal compared to Stadium 1. So when I get to that, it's gonna be quite the stream. I still gotta... I'm almost done round 1 for Stadium 1. Oh, hey, Poliwag's here, too. Cool. run away, though. I'm looking for the fire types. I should be okay to challenge some of the gym trainers now, actually. Use up my magnitudes here. Tri-spam powder snow. 
Can I take a few pecks from a Spearow, though? That's the question. Seven. Faulkner has six Pokemon, and they're all gonna be... I'm pretty sure they're all higher level than my Mons right now, so... I don't know if I'm even going to beat Faulkner today. Round two in Stadium? Well, if it's technically possible to do with rentals, I may as well get the content. Free content out of that, baby. There we go. Magnitude again. Ooh, there's the 10. Even if you have, like, a real, like, Gen 2 game plugged in with, like, a properly trained up team, apparently that game can be brutal. Okay. Let's go heal and fight gym trainers now. Let's do that. Give me a drink here. But apparently it's technically possible to win with the rentals, but I imagine you probably need a strict guide for that. I know that there's people that speedrun Stadium and Stadium 2, but um, is it more popular to do that with a pre-made like Game Boy file with stuff registered? Or is it more popular to do it with rentals? Because I feel like someone has to have like a whole like fancy game facts guide for doing it with rentals. It'd be nice if I could do that for the Switch Online version, and it looks like, yeah, there's ice on the side here. Let me see if you're good enough to face Faulkner, so no matter what I do, I have to go back and walk around them. Spiro. Okay. Can he take the peck? Yeah, well, better. Going swift? Well, it's still stab. Stab attack power, yeah. Stab physical, I should say. Okay, I could probably... Oh, oh, yep, no, probably. He's dead. Nice. It's Gen 2 freeze, though. We can't, like, uh, use that other stuff. Rentals is better, otherwise you just spam Mewtwo in most battles. Yeah, that makes sense. No reason not to use legendaries if you're using the save file, I guess. Excellent. Do duo. Let's keep going with it. Let's get some freaking experience. Double kick. Uh oh. Can even have that in vanilla? I mean, I know double kick because it's do duo, but I don't remember any ever having that. Um, Nidoran should be able to do it. I don't really have a stab move on Nidoran, but it's. Who, what poison type does? I don't have Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb counts as physical in this game, so yeah, that would be good coverage to have later. This thing's gonna body me. Hey, okay, could be an egg move. Also possible, yeah. Who really remembers much egg moves from Gen 2? Sounds like there's a truck, like, slowly trying to get on by out there. I don't know if you can hear that. Alright, Toto. We can do this. Go back and heal and try the other guy, I guess. Ooh, so close. This can't be true, but it is. You've lost. I've beaten you. Everything is fine. Everything is wholesome. I need a bit more team variety. What should I go for? Like, there is the option of going back to get more starters, but starters have terrible catch rates because you're not supposed to catch them in the wild. Um, so, like, having less than 10 Pokeballs, I'm not fully confident that I could get that without a bunch of saves coming. Speaking of saving, I should probably do that. Sheep could be electric coverage, same with Pikachu. The problem is that Ampharos is not- is a very slow line. So... Odds are, the things I want to send it in against is gonna have, like, coverage for electric, and it's- I'm gonna be forced to take a freaking annoying earthquake once I get a little bit into the game. Like, slow Pokemon and Kaizo or difficult mods are just, like, they're not very good. Okay, 
Keyword is guts. Those here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Come on. How tanky is Ampharos? I never really think of it as a tanky Pokemon. I just remember that it's, like, slow and is an electric type, all right. Okay, it's going Nightshade. It's just a Natu. Don't worry about it. Okay, that was a crit. I could probably still kill it one more hit. Oh, unless that happens. Raichu definitely has doesn't have very good defense stat, yeah. At least Raichu has, like, speed, though. Ah, damn. Don't crit with this. Come on, dude. Above average bulk. It's fast. Still wonder what other Pokemon I could have. As much as I like Marif and Ampharos, I just feel like they're not going to be very good long term in this in this mod at all. I mean, neither is my Totodile, but. Okay, far-fetched. Let's let Nidoran do this. Yeah, Magnemite actually might not be too bad. Actually, um, does Magneton have Magnezone stats? That would actually make it very good if I could run that instead. Problem is, Earthquake would absolutely decimate me. Still. It does not? Aw, oh, man. Not for sure that'd be something they do. Yeah, even the gym trainers are messing me up. I'm not prepared to fight Faulkner at all. Totodile has to come in and save the day still. I need to go back to Sprout Tower to train. Magneton has pretty good stats, too. I need a crit or I'm dead. He could still go through it anyway. I'm dead. Yeah, he got the crit anyway. I knew it wouldn't have mattered. All right, I lost a small amount of money. Only the chump change from, like, the first trainer, anyhow. 148. Magneton's got very good special attack. But how fast is Magneton? Steel typing is at least good for resisting a bunch of stuff, especially since it's pre-gen 6. I guess I'm just worried about Earthquake since this is Kaizo. Everybody, any physical attacker that can possibly run Earthquake is going to run Earthquake. What would be tankier and hit harder? Ampharos or, um... Ampharos or Magneton? Pardon me, my nose is a bit itchy here. Do it again. No one wants an Apom. I highly doubt Apom has Ambipom stats. Even if it did, it would not be worth running since there's no abilities. Or certain moves in this game. Like, fake out ain't a thing. Yet. The only good, uh, the only Gen 4 Evos that had, had their stats passed down in this were Tangrowth, Mamoswine, Flyscore, and Miss Magius. All the rest, like Magnezone and Ambipom, weren't touched. Okay. Not even, like, Electabuzz and Magmar, because they had that in Blue Kaizo. I would assume they'd get the same treatment here. Nope. Ah, so they're weaker here, then. Now, which way are we going? <sighs> Joey, not now. Yo, how's it going? This is Joey, got a minute? How are your Pokémon doing? My Rattata is raring to go, just like always. It's only one I have. I'm gonna become a great trainer with it. Oh yeah, I saw Wild Pidgey. I thought about going for it, but I decided to work with my one and only right to the extreme. All right, later. Go away, Joey. Don't call me. Never call this number again. All right. 
You can do this, Mr. Swinub. We stand guard in the tower. Here we express our gratitude to honor all Pokemon. Okay, Ampharos is bulkier. It's true. I guess both of them have their strengths and weaknesses for that, huh? I should be able to magnitude you. You're Abra. No confusion me to death, please, though. Okay, someone's getting a candy bar after this battle. Damn it, I was hoping to roll at least a seven. I don't think this will kill. Yeah, yeah, a seven would have killed it. Oh, wait, you're gonna confuse you. What am I doing? Don't switch to that. Max Potion. Cruncher Slash should kill you. I don't care what your special is. Look at that. 69. About to use Eevee. Well, I'm about to use Double Kick. Little friend. Give me a kick. Make that scum pay. Ooh, so close. Ooh, and that failed. Nice. He's getting his hidden. Peter is just around the corner. 24 attack. Hoot hoot. Fully confident swine up could do that. You know what? I'll keep a Nidoran. I'll let him do this. We're only level 9, but still. I need to candy bar the swine. Oh, it had Nightshade. Okay. Just wondering if they gave it confusion or anything right now. Napalm actually was buffed in this? Okay. It is weird to bother buffing Napalm, though. If that's the case, is Magneton technically buffed? That would be nice to find out, if true. Okay, give this. We bought these candy for a reason. Only if you reach the top will you obtain an HM. Doesn't have Ambipom stats, but Apom is buffed, I guess. Okay. Um, what is this? It, it that's not an exit tile, is it? Uh No, I think they put that there just to screw with me. Let me see how much trust you you trust your Pokemon. There we go. Less HP, defense, and special defense than Ambipom. Magneton got a 10 base HP buff. Oh, that's it? Okay. Yeah, oh, apparently the documentation is kind of inconsistent for this, so they might be looking at something else, yeah. What about uh, Ampharos? Does Ampharos have any buffs? Six. There we go. I wonder if Ampharos got even slightly tankier or something. We don't have physical defense. Let's try this. Okay, two of them. Here's an eight. Not bad. Oof. Troy is about to send out Apom. Once again, we'll let it get double kicked. Faulkner is going to destroy me, but I will spend my money before that. I obviously do not want to leave the tower right now. It's how much of a pain in the ass it is to leave and come back, so I'm going to use my candy bars. To keep me going in the field. No changes for Ampharos, okay. 
getting swifted. Poison point and abilities in general do not exist. Ooh, okay. Yes, your trust is impeccable. Something along those lines. How much candy I got left? Seven. Let's see, we got two battles left and then the head sage. I'm not fully confident, but I'll try. I trained to find enlightenment in Pokemon. All right. Adjusting my volume a tad bit here. Seal. Crap. Um, could double kick it. I'm about to level up off this too. It's gonna be a while until I get Pile of Swine. It's fine. There we go. You're off work. That's good, Yo-Yo. No, no, you don't need to post a link. It'll be fine. I'll take your word for it. Okay. Oh, you're right. You're not water ice yet. You're just pure water. <sighs> Speed fell, huh? Great. I guess I'll just let Toto do this. This seal is messing me up. Getting bubble beamed. And it went slash. There we go. Apparently I just need to let Totodile sweep this now, don't I? My training's incomplete. Oh, I don't want to lose all this money I'm getting. But I do not want to go back. Like, after every battle, this would be such a pain in the ass to climb back up. So, let's just keep trying. The Elder's HM lights even pitch black darkness. wonder if I'd want to actually use that in Dark Cave this time. Instead of just, um, moving on. Ooh, I can magnitude this. Or... He could hit me with, um, Ember. Or, I could roll Magnitude 10. Damn it. I, I got the lowest possible one. That was a crit, too. <laughs> oh my god. Please live. Don't become a pork chop. Do it again. Seven. This has to kill. Come on. Fourteen. It is my head that is too bright. All right, one more battle. Give me candy bar. I should probably put some berries on the team. Uh, hang on. Not for swine up though. Do this here, okay? There's an item down there. You are indeed skilled as a trainer. As promised, here's your HM. But let me say this, you should treat your Pokémon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokémon are not tools of war. Hmm. He claims to be the Elder, but he's weak. It stands to reason I'd never lose to fools who babble about being nice to Pokémon. I only care about strong Pokémon that can win. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokémon. Okay. Oh wait, you might have been thinking about uh, Crystal Kaizo Plus. That's a different mod. Oh, okay, that's fine. Oh hey, Magby's here. Let's see if I can just magnitude this. The baby boobers himself is here. If Magneton's not actually buffed, it's not a big deal. So, whenever I look at the Bellsprout statues, it took me forever as a kid to realize it's supposed to be a Bellsprout. I thought it was, like, like a single eye with, like, a big, like, squid head. I, I didn't... It never occurred to me that this was supposed to be a Bellsprout, because I guess I couldn't see the two eye dots. 
Pokemon statue. Looks very distinguished. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. Alright, last battle. What you got? Sagely. Unknown. Well, uh, guess what, boyo? It's Gen 2. No levitate. Yeah, get him. Get his ass, swine up. The type is hidden power. Do it again. Seven? Alright, you got it. The swine is cooking. Ooh, so close. Sunflora? At this point... Um... I could just hit it with a Powder Snow before Swine Up goes down, and then let Nidoran just try and, like, kill it. I might have a chance of freezing it this way. This is the last battle, so I don't mind if Swine Up dies. Critter Freeze, Critter Freeze. Nope, Razor Leaf, okay. That was a crit. Okay, I don't think you're gonna have anything that hurt me. Probably make you flinch. Ooh, oh, that was a crit, nice. And I got the flinch, okay, perfect. Is the last one just going to be Noctowl? I wonder. Normally his ace is like a hoot. Damn, that was a lot of experience. Sort of woodo. I can double kick it. And Tornadile can finish off with freaking, um... I get it, because Sort of woodo sways like the tower. Or whatever. Also lower its, um... Accuracy, but even get a crit. No, that doesn't do much. Okay, it just has rock throw. Accuracy dropped. Still hitting. Barry activates. more double. One use of double kick should work. You really hit me with both rock throws. That's illegal. That move already misses when without <laughs> accuracy drops. Okay. And we get to end on a Nidorino. Sick. Ah, excellent. Sick. Here we go. Now I just need Crocodile as well. It's very purple. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. You got Flash. You may or may not use it. Flash eliminates dark places, but to use that about, you need the Badge for Violet's Gym. Now let's get the two items. They put these here just to be a dick, I guess. The other one's normally an escape rope, but I feel like they're probably going to change it to something else. Magby's at the top. I don't really want a Magmar, though. Right, I'm almost dead. Mock Punch! <laughs> really? Why do you have that? Can you even take advantage of that? Not really. That's kind of surprising. Let me put Toto up front now. Oops. Missed a D-pad input there. Wrong way.
Moment of truth. Let's find out. What do you got for me, game? Just spit on it. Free experience by spitting. There's still that one gym trainer. I ended up losing to him. I may as well go spend all my money on Pokeballs. I think Hitmonchan gets Mach Punch in Gen 2. But I don't really think of it too much as a Gen 2 move, because I don't see it much in that game. Was it exclusive to Hitmonchan for Gen 2, maybe? Maybe they did that because Hitmon Top got Triple Kick, and Hitmon Lee already had multiple exclusive moves. Hitmonchan was treated like a joke character in Gen 1. Okay. Let's get out of here. Hmm. So only one remaining trainer now. Well, oh, sorry. That one trainer and then Faulkner himself. But I don't think I'm going to be able to beat him today. Before I even get a chance, though, I need to absolutely get my hands on Croconaw. It's exclusive to Hitmonchan in Gen 2, and then Berloom got it in 3. Is Berloom the only other Mon that got it in Gen 3? I feel like more Pokemon had it in Gen 3, but I can't, like, cite a specific example, can I? Alright. Let me go ahead and run into some things here. Like, the Ponytuz gives great experience if I can kill it. Entire Hitmon line can get it due to breeding. Oh, okay, it's a Tyrogue egg move as well. Gen 4 is when, like, everyone else got it. Okay. Maybe it won't quite reach level 18 like this, will I? Only 72. Come on, the Ponytail would be great, though. Electric Sheep. At this stage, if I catch another Mon, it's going to be a big pain to train them. The three I got right now are all set up to fight the things around me, except Faulkner, of course. Take a bite out of Sheep. Come on, just one pony. One pony. Encounters in Dark Cave take way too long. Even though, like, running into, like, Geodude and using Water Gun would give me a handful amount. It wouldn't... It would take too much extra time. I wonder what Nidorino's attack stat looks like now, compared to everyone else. 28. 20. 31. Okay, yeah, you're looking good. You're looking good. Too bad you don't have Stab. I know that the Sludge Bomb TM is like after you clear the Lake of Rage stuff at Team Rocket. Uh, the gate, you can find the Sludge Bomb TM at the Gatehouse. If that, assuming that's still there, that would be good for a Nido King much later on. Um, I wonder actually, can you buy every TM in the game? Because if I need to re- like build a new team from scratch later on when I'm going for, like, the Elite Four and Champion and all that. It would be good if I could buy stuff. That way I don't have to worry about saving the good TMs for that hypothetical situation. Don't think so? Ah, damn. Well, I'll probably still use it on him anyway. Is there at least a- is there a move reminder in this game? I don't think there is either. Go. Can buy Rock Smash though. Yeah. Yeah. I think a bunch got added to Goldenrod, but I don't know. Uh, well, I, could, I know I can at least in vanilla buy the Elemental Punches. I hope they let me keep that. Spe on the subject of Goldenrod, I, rem I heard that once you get to Goldenrod, the difficulty really starts to ramp up. So. Knowing I get access to a bunch of tools there just really makes me wonder just how crazy it's going to get. 
Come on, Toto, you're almost to 17. You can do this. You can do it, little Totodile friend. Hit level 17. Too bad, no pony. For you, it got really bad around Claire. Okay, we'll see. We shall see. Take a bite out of this lad. Okay. Hmm. Now I wonder if I should just let Totodile solo that gym trainer to get myself up to level 18 if I can. It doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to reliably switch around anyway. Like I could just spam slash against it. Like, I'll at least get a chunk of experience from the first one if I can do that. Nidorino should be able to be back up to kill this, the Farfetch'd. It is uh, all up to crit luck. Wait, I just realized something. You know why that Farfetch probably kept getting crits with its slash? Because it's probably holding the stick. D that has to be it. Let's make a save. Let's spend my money first. I haven't done that. How can we help you? I'm gonna need a lot of these going through, like, Union Cave and stuff, so let's do that. Potions I'm gonna need for the field. So I'll start buying potions and stuff again once I'm done with Faulkner. There is also a Pokemon Center outside of Union Cave, so... Take a look at the team. Nidorino's good. Swineup needs to evolve, but that's not happening anytime soon, so he's just kind of be uh, the C-grade member of the team. Let's see if we can get to Croconaw with this. The key word is guts. Let's see here. No move reminder unless you use Stadium 2. That's right. That's right. I forgot it was locked to that. Right. Not to is first, so I could just crunch this thing. Assuming it doesn't confuse me or some crap. Oh, it's about to confuse me in some crap. Please hit. Thank you. Hey, there we go, we did it. Okay, a little bit of chunk there. Okay, Farfetch just coming out. I should just let Nidorino do it. I gotta switch because of that. Hello, friend, welcome. Hey. Just headbutt it. Headbutt. Oh yeah, I know. You could purchase the headbutt TM in vanilla from Goldenrod. I believe it's TM2. Yeah, I'm much stronger now. This thing can't do much. I just yanked my yanked my microphone with my headphone wire. But it didn't like mess it up, I hope. There we go. Level 17. Gah! Alright, so that didn't get me to Croconaw level. I suppose the highest level things I can fight now are probably just headbutt mons. I could find an execute tree and crunch it. Execute would be good to catch. As if it's known moves and all that, but... Which one had encounters? I don't want to fight the Lettybutt tree again. That one's annoying. I gotta go, friend, or I catch you later. Damn, I've been going two hours? Doesn't feel like it. And I opened up the bag menu. Damn it. And which one of these had a thing? I accidentally hit B. I'm making the take slower now. You can do it. There we go. It's gonna be time for Pocket Mirror in a little bit. I can at least give Faulkner a try, but I need to get to Croconaw. 
if I try to make Faulkner the end goal of today, you know what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have to grind a whole bunch. <laughs> and I've already gone in long enough. Excellent. 82. Any rare encounters in this one? Let's do it. It's closer to the evening. There we go. It'll be closer to the evening, so, um... It's good to do a spooky game at that, like, time of day, anyway. How much does this give? Okay. Execute spawns are a pretty decent thing, so let's keep doing that. Nope, nothing. But I know it's marked, so let's keep doing it. Excellent. Hopefully I can get this uploaded soonish, but... I also am kind of backed up on things to upload at the moment. Crunch you. Execute wouldn't help me with the gym right now. I might try and farm a good one next time. No, wait, no, I don't want to farm. I, I don't want to farm. I don't want to calculate. I just want to catch. But for now, get me a croconaw. Let's see. Yeah, I'm actually backed up on so many things to upload at the moment because I've been having issues. Like, the other week I played an entire Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow mod, and that playthrough was like five and a half hours long. I haven't had time to... Oh, hi, Spinarak. I haven't had time to, like, render that at all. And I have the Link to the Past randomizer playthrough I did, and I haven't been able to get that uploaded because some SoundCloud rapper keeps claiming, like, uh, some music from that game, and it's becoming a massive pain in the ass. Hopefully I can finish that out. Figure that out, and it'll piss off already. But I still have things from, like, two weeks ago I haven't been able to get uploaded to YouTube yet because of the, uh, this crap. Oh, well, it's fine. Still able to get something uploaded, like, every day or so. As long as we have wholesome content being uploaded, everything is good. I think if I can, I'll try and get, like, that session of, uh, Mystery Dungeon uploaded. Because that is a much smaller file size, so it's easier to handle. Here we go. Caveman Crocodile. How much money do I got? 300. Should probably buy a potion or something. this time. So I have nothing to lose. So I might as well just try and fight Faulkner. It's gonna go poorly. Three moderately trained mons. Versus uh, his team of six mons that are probably in the upper teens in terms of level. I'm sure it'll be fantastic. But there's no one else to fight except Wild Trainers. I mean, I could go back and fight Joey, but he's only gonna have a level 6 rat. And that's not gonna do anything. It's gonna suck. Alrighty, what do I have? Start with the swine, because the swine's not gonna do much except get a lucky freeze. Make a save. Not that I'm gonna reset if I die, but you know. Here we go. I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying Pokemon types wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of magnificent bird Pokemon. What do you got? Yeah, six Pokemon. Come on, what do you got? Gold Pidgeotto. His dad's cherished bird Pokemon. Alright, go for the Powder Snow. Steel Wing? Bro, you're the first gym leader! Why do you have steel coverage on Pidgeotto? Defense went up? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not winning this today. 
Freeze. No. <laughs> I'm dead. I know this is Kaizo, but oh my god. This game gonna be brutal. Alright then. Probably should just slash with Crocodile and pray. How about a crit? Hey, I got one! I'm about to send out Mantine. Send it out. Here he comes. The lad on the loose. How about a crit? Damn. Okay, the only thing he can do to Crocodile is Bubble Beam. Remember that for next time. How about a crit? Oh, never mind. Never mind. He can do worse. It's only level 13. This... In fact, it might actually be the easiest way to grind, would just be throw Crocodile at Faulkner and spam Slash over and over. I have no money to lose. What? <laughs> Look at this. This is actually a good idea. Tog... Togetic! I gotta reset the poison counter anyway, so let's send out Nidorino. That's what you did? Yeah. It's very yellow. And blue. Spam headbutt. I don't even have a fourth move on this thing yet. Metronome. Oh god! Wow, I didn't, I didn't think this would be possible to get worse. Time to switch. Is he gonna go metronome again? Do it. What do you got? Okay, you missed the iron tail. And I'm going to hit the slash. Get a crit. Come on, how about a crit? Oh, not again. He got a slash. That's stab, though. Did nothing. I got a berry. All right, three down. I don't think I can really train up Swine Up. Okay, it's got Murkrow. So no Nidorino. Um. Okay, it's purple. Like, I think the best strategy is just gonna keep throw. I keep throwing Crocodile up into the battle with Slash and just reap the experience rewards until it's done. Uh, Nidorino could probably kill some things with Headbutt. Swinub is just going to die. It needs a higher level. Like, if Swinub could, like, take advantage of using, like, um, Magnitude, it might do be able to do something, but it can only do Powder Snow and hope for a freeze at the start. Yeah, it's slaughtering me. At least he's not spamming max potions. I have to at least give him that. It's going Nightshade. It's leaving me with some damage before it dies. Okay, that's four. He's got Shiny Noctowl. 15. How about a crit? I'm only getting the one crit from the start, aren't I? Well, I get one more attack now. Never mind, he has Psychic. <laughs> and did we speed tie? I could have sworn I went first there. Hey, it's Joey. Yo, how's it going? This is Joey, you got a minute? How are your Pokemon doing? My Raditz has raring to go, just like always. It's the only one I have. I'm gonna become a great trainer with it. Oh yeah, I saw a wild Pidgey. I thought about going for it, but I decided to work with my one and only right to the extreme end. All right, later. All right. So... 
We all understand the plan now, right? I have no money. I had no money going into that, but I have nothing to lose. This is the fastest way to grind right now. This is the fastest way to actually get stronger for the fight, is to just keep trying it with Slash. <laughs> we do it again. I got relatively far. I only had one crit, though, with Slash. Oh, hello, friend. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. You're just in time to see a slaughter. Who's getting slaughtered? Well, we're flipping a coin and finding out. Everybody get him. Caveman go bonk. Ooh. Oh, turn one razor wins. Stab. Looks like it didn't do much, though. Ooh. My crit luck has just gone down the toilet. This will put me at level 20, though, won't it? Hey, there we go. Crocodile might get over-leveled doing this, but I'm okay with that. This thing will toxic, though. I really need a crit. Maybe I should consider letting Nidorino take care of this thing, then. But it's whatever. I don't expect to win this attempt. I'm mostly just getting experience. Oh, nice. There's the crit. 468. And what's the next one? Togetic. It's gonna spam Metronome, so honestly, I'm gonna send in Swineup and see if I get the freeze with Powder Snow. Because it could waste a bunch of turns, uh, letting Metronome do nothing. Of course, this can also just be Copium. Let's try. Okay, a little bit of damage. Can we win? Oh, that's very good for me. Okay. This could be a huge experience boost if, uh, Swineup gets the kill. Razor Leaf. Well, it's over, boys. Pack it in. Oh, hey, look, a crit. I love this video game. And I love this video game from GameFreakDoc.Inc. Wait, no, they didn't make it. <laughs> it's a mod. I can't complain. Soft boiled. Soft boiled? Soft boiled. Really now? Okay. How about a flinch? You can only do that so many times. Two moves that need sleep. I honestly forgot Nightmare was even a move. Flinched? I got ya. I got your ass. Alright. Gliger. That's gonna have... Maybe I should try and save Swine up for Gliger then. That's probably gonna have Earthquake. You have good defense, honestly, so... Water Gun might be my best shot. Ooh, nice. Rock slide. Okay. No stab on that. That can't stop me. Ooh, yeah, that barely did a thing. If the Noctowl can have Psychic, the Gligar will probably have Earthquake. And that's just wouldn't have work. Murkrow's next. Um, Noctowl has Psychic, so Nidorino has to take this out. Otherwise, Nidorino can't do anything else. Spam headbutt and pray. Okay. Fast. Okay. I can li I can do this. Okay. Yeah, I was worried he was gonna have Skarmory as well. He seems to have all Johto flying types, which is probably out of spite for how Johto gym leaders are infamous for only having Kanto Pokemon most of the time.
Yeah, get to level 18. You earned it, bro. He had Pidgeotto, yeah, duh. I mean, Pidgeotto is his original ace. I meant to say that. Anyways, it's fine. Alright. Almost all Johto Pokemon. I'm already just gonna run six freaking Mistrevis. No. Probably have a mix of other things. Nope. So, I don't think I can win unless I get a, a critical slash. Set up Reflect. I can still get it, because the critical should go through Reflect's uh, buff. Oh, I got it. He threw. Look at that. I actually beat the first gym. I totally expected to lose. The crit luck finally came through, didn't it? We got the Zephyr Badge in 1500. We Teddy dabbed, except we couldn't catch a Teddy. Raising the attack power of Pokemon, Naval Splash. I'm not sure if bad Badge Boost is actually active in this game or not. I got Mud Slap. However, everything seems to learn that on its own anyway. Oh, still Poison. Wait, am I gonna... Am I gonna white out before I get back to the center? I <laughs> hope not. We discovered something about the egg. My assistant's at this thing in Violet City. Let's go talk to him. Got 11. I can make it. I can make it just fine. Still Togepi? I guess we're gonna find out. I can hatch the egg, but I can't imagine a Togetic being very useful <laughs> at all. Unless, I doubt they gave it Togekiss stats. Even if they did, it's not like it really would have the fairy type and other stuff. Would you like to take the egg? Yes, I would. We discovered a Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. It also has to be with other active Pokemon. The only person we can rely on, please call Fresh Realm when the egg hatches. Okay. Moves around. Wait. Must be close to hatching. That's not the normal early step. Do they make eggs hatch faster or something? Anyway. So for a first session here, it seemed I managed to beat the first gym with a stroke of luck. And I got a level 21 Croconaw. I got a level 13 Swine Up and level 18 Nidorino. Not too bad. I think next time, what I want to do, obviously I have to go through the Ruins of Alf and go to the south to Union Cave. Hmm. I'm gonna need to add more team members next time. I'm strongly considering Execute, because Executor would be pretty good. Um, I know that the Executes from the tree come with Explosion, Psybeam, and Giga Drain, and I think Stun Spore, so... That would be pretty handy to have on its own. Obviously, there was no point in getting it for Faulkner, because Faulkner would just obliterate that thing. The Togepi is always close- uh, Togepi Egg is always close to hatching, was it? I really don't remember that. Oh well. That doesn't matter too much. I think we shall save here, and go ahead and just call it a session. I hope you all enjoyed. If you're watching this on YouTube, hopefully look forward to more Kaizo soon, and have a good night. Bye-bye.